Uh, when we see a physical grizzly, we call it Tlatholim, but our spiritual name for grizzly is, is Saint, which references our older sibling, a term of respect and endearment for the grizzly bear. We now have the grizzly bear's uh, population reduced to a small pittance of their historic populations where the southern extent of grizzly populations is now uh, the Squamish River. We once had the grizzlies uh, flourishing every year annually coming down to the estuary of the Squamish River and feeding. Uh, now we have the town of Squamish there and the town of Whistler and a population uh, of newcomers coming, an influx of newcomers into our territory that are now encroaching on critical uh, grizzly habitat. So I think that it is all of our responsibility to recognize that grizzlies don't see borders. Pollution doesn't see borders. The grizzly will connect the populations to Toba Inlet, the populations to Butte, the populations to the southern Chilcotin, to the Cascades. That these are all the traditional territories of the grizzly bear that may go beyond the Squamish defined boundaries. So we must collaborate with our neighbors. We must collaborate with the local communities and with the groups that wish to work together to make this an important cause that will have lasting impacts, uh, a lasting legacy for futures ahead of us. It is our responsibility to do this.